welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're going to go ahead and get started on the build on the new Pilot RC 2.2 meter uh, matrix. Um, I did put, a mock, put the jet together, mocked up, and then just kind of wanted to see what the, um, the dry weight of this jet is straight out of the box as a turbine ready with all of the servos installed, landing gears, and the, uh, the brakes installed on this jet. So um, I put the jet on my Sukhoi digital CG scale and the uh, overall weight of this jet without any of these components that's going to go in the jet um, came out to about 18 and a half pounds. So not bad for a two meter jet, it's still relatively light. Um, the goal on this build is going to be to uh, basically build this jet as light as I can as possible. Um, I am going to be flying this jet at sea level. So I think with this jet, uh, I'm going with the King Tech 120. Now for a sport jet uh, flying style, uh, the Pilot RC recommends a turbine of between 100 to 140. So I'll be right in the middle of that power band recommended by uh, Pilot RC. So hopefully it turns out pretty well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the table to see what components is gonna be put on this jet and then we can go ahead and get started on the build. All right guys, so we've got pretty much all of the components that's going to be installed on the new Pilot RC 2 meter matrix. So pretty much from the left, starting with the receiver, I will be using two of the PBR 2060 receivers for redundancy. Um, as far as the power management to the servo, I'm gonna go with the tried and tested PowerBox Pioneer that I have been using on a lot of my jet builds lately. Uh, what I really like about this uh, power box is that it only weighs 1.5 ounces and I was kind of hung up between the Pioneer and using the Mercury here that I have on the left. So the Mercury came out to about 3.6 ounces um, in weight. So granted, two, two ounces of weight is not a significant amount to add to the build but being that the goal of this build is to keep it as light as possible I'm gonna go with the power box pioneer this time on this build and then for the power to the receivers I'll be using two of the AR powers lithium ion receiver packs uh, two cell and they're gonna be about 3200 milliamps per pack for redundancy now as far as power to the turbine I'll be going with the pulse 3800 milliamp light pack and then for our retracts we got our power box or I'm, I'm sorry pilot RC retract controller and then we're going to be using the Asan AG68 no steering uh, gyro with brake assist now as far as the turbine um, being that this is I'm going to be flying it uh, sport the recommended turbine for that type of flying is 100 to 140 Newton turbine. So I decided to go with the King Tech K120 um, as my turbine for this build. So let's go ahead and get started on the build in the new matrix, beginning with the fuel tank um, cleaning. So we're gonna remove the fuel tank and then make sure the plumbing is good and then clean out the internals to make sure there's no uh, residue during the in the from the factory during the build. Mm. All right, guys. So I've got the fuel tank removed from the Pilot RC Matrix. Uh, this is actually a very, <laughs> very cool looking uh, fuel tank that Pilot RC came up with. It is made out of Kevlar. And one thing that I did notice about the design of this uh, fuel tank is that just little grooves here uh, on the top of the tank. So the velcro straps locks it in place and then also one thing that I want to point out to you guys um, this is something that I did with all of my builds I always remove the fuel tank and take take a look at the fuel plumbing just to see how well the factory put it together now from the previous Pilot RC builds that I've done the BAE Hawk and AF-16 I wasn't all that impressed with how the factory uh, assembled the fuel, the fuel tank and the, uh, the fuel lines for the plumbing so when I took this uh, fuel tank apart, just to take a look at the plumbing and uh, to clean the inside of it, uh, Pilot RC really stepped it up this time by actually uh, putting clamps on the, the fuel fittings and the, uh, the fuel lines. So 
the previous models that I built, for, um, Pilot RC models, it was just zip tied in place and we all know that that's not going to last a very long time if it's just a simple zip tie that locks the, uh, the fuel lines in place. But give you guys a closer look at it. These are actual clamping systems that uh, Pilot RC installed on the Matrix. So big up, thumbs up to uh, Pilot RC for uh, really upping the game. Um, even just the most basic stuff like the plumbing in the fuel tank. Um, they've actually took the time and uh, improved on the product. So basically the fuel tank, I just uh, poured some denatured alcohol in there, slushed it around just to kind of clean out the inside. Any debris that may have been left inside during the, the uh, manufacturing process of this fuel tank. And then uh, we're ready to install this back in the jet. Now I do want to say that it was uh, quite a bit of a pain trying to get this fuel tank out. Uh, I had to separate the uh, two-piece fuselage apart and then pull the fuel tank out. Um, so this is one of those processes where you do it once and then you, you do it right the first time. You should never have to pull the fuel tank out because it is quite of a pain trying to get the fuel tank out. So let's go ahead and put this fuel tank back together, install it back in the matrix and then move on to the next section which is uh, installing the turbine in the jet. Alright guys so I've got the fuselage pretty much in half right now just to give you guys a look at the internals of this jet. So on the tail section of the matrix um, this is what it looks like on the inside. So I removed the, uh, the thrust tube out and then just kind of routed the wires. I, I may actually put some heat uh, insulation tubing on the uh, the wires just to make sure that I have ample um, heat protection to the wiring and then I may use some um, aluminum heat, heat shrink tape up here where the servo leads are just to kind of give it some added protection there so once I get done with that I'll show you guys how it looks uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit all right, guys. So something that I uh, that I discovered while I was looking at the wires, basically the elevator wires, and then here's your rotor wire that just runs up the tube and then goes all the way forward into the plane. But the two elevator wires running through that former um, behind it is bare fiberglass. So I think what I'm going to do is insulate these wires so that as I'm flying, you know, they're not just going to flapping around and then eventually over time the fiberglass cutting into the insulation of the wire um, and then causing problems later on so I'm gonna figure out what to do with that and I'll show you guys in the end what I come up with alright so it's gonna be a little tricky for you guys to see um, but basically what I did was I used some thermal tape to insulate the elevator servo, servo wires and then just kinda of put a wire loom around it for the elevators and then zip tied it to that former so that it doesn't move around while I'm flying. And then also I added some um, wire looms or heat, heat insulated wire looms around the uh, boat elevators and the rudder and then this is gonna basically route forward to the front of the aircraft um, and then you know we're very much insulated from the heat back here so we're ready to put the thrust tube back in and then put this jet back together. All right, so we're pretty much done with the tail section of the matrix. So pretty much all I did was insulate the wires and then uh, you know, put a marine heat shrink tube in there uh, to keep it from sliding around. But basically, this is uh, ready to be put back together. Um, and we're just gonna bolt the tail section with the forward section of the fuselage uh, with the included stainless steel uh, four bolts. Uh, we'll do that next. All right, guys, so I pretty much got the uh, the turbine lined up. Um, we haven't drilled the holes yet, but uh, with the King Tech K120 Gen 4, um, I measured out from the beginning of the thrust tube to the end of the exhaust cone. Uh, I went with the one inch distance for that. Um, originally started off at three quarters, but it just looked like the turbine is too far in the uh, bell mount, so. Uh, I moved it back another quarter of an inch and this is where I'm at right now. So I'm pretty satisfied with the alignment. So I'm going to go ahead and start drilling the holes and uh, bolt this turbine down. 
All right, guys, so we pretty much got the turbine lined up in the thrust tube. So I'm pretty satisfied with how it is lined up. So I'm going to go ahead and start drilling the holes and uh, bolt this turbine down. All right, guys, so now that we've got the turbine installed and the fuel plumbing is almost complete, the last thing that I need to do is uh, remove the factory uh, UAT and then do a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, I'm going to take out the Pilot RC UAT and install the Enarco iTrap 40 in its place. So we'll do a little bit of a modification here. We're going to take the existing UAT out and use the existing formers and then somehow put a plate over it so that I can mount this UAT in its place. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that and then I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like. All right, guys. So here is the finished product. Um, basically used the existing formers and just kind of modified it a little bit. Um, I cut out a piece of Alutex board as the base of the uh, tray for the UAT and then just mounted the Enarco iTrap 40 in place. So it definitely looks a lot better than the factory UAT and I am very satisfied with how it turned out. So now I can move on to finishing the fuel plumbing, install the fuel pump, and then we can move on to the electrical. All right guys, so uh, I pretty much just 3D printed a, um, a fuel pump mount that I also tapped in a 440 blind nut so basically this is going to be high salt in place right here in the center right below the uh, the component tray and then we're just gonna bolt it down once it's glued in onto the fuselage it's gonna be bolted down by 440 volts uh, and it's basically going to sit somewhere around right there and then we're gonna put our uh, Festo um, on and off ball valve right in this location so that I can easily access it to open up the valve for uh, engine starts and then shut it off uh, when we're done flying. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, high saw this in place and then show you guys how it looks in the end. All right guys, so we are pretty much done with the fuel plumbing of the Pilot RC 2.2 meter matrix. So here we've got the iTrap 40 installed with the six millimeter inner diameter uh, Festo fuel line from the main tank into the UAT and then from the UAT we got a four millimeter inner diameter into a on and off ball valve and then to the fuel pump and then from the fuel pump to the turbine. Now I wanted to try to get this as clean as possible so uh, I was trying to figure out ways to get this um, fuel lines routed without making it looking, looking like a mess so I pretty much just used the existing formers here and then I noticed that there was pre-drilled holes on the formers. So from the left side, we've got a uh, six millimeter fuel line. And then I just pretty much put a rubber grommet on it uh, to make sure that the fuel line is not rubbing off against the bare fiberglass and cutting into the fuel line. And then on the opposite end, we've got the four millimeter fuel line that goes to the turbine. And then also I put a rubber grommet there um, to basically prevent the uh, fiberglass from cutting into the fuel line so we'll take a look at the back section of the jet and then show you guys how the uh, fuel filter and setup looks like going towards the turbine all right guys so here is the tail section of the 2.2 meter matrix so here we got the King Tech 120 gen 4 installed and then we've got the fuel filter installed right below the main fuel tank so now that we are complete with the fuel system we are gonna go ahead and get started with the electronics of this jet. So I will see you guys in the second series of this build on the new Pilot RC 2.2 meter matrix.